Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying a Mech Armada. Uh, this is in collaboration with the uh, Game Development World Championship. Uh, the code was provided by them and Lion Code Games. Thank you very much for your support. Appreciate it so much. Um, you can check out the Game Development World Championship site uh, for a bunch of other indie games. And if you are a developer yourself, you can also check out the site for a chance to compete for prizes. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. That's That's the end of all of that. Mech Armada is a uh, roguelite tactics game um, in a similar vein to Into the Breach, but it's doing a lot of different stuff. I don't mean to compare like every tactics game to Into the Breach, but uh, Into the Breach comes to mind for me when I think of sort of um, not not so much bare bones, but very like simple, but also very tight tactics where every single move is important. Um, as opposed to games where like you know, you're gonna be doing a lot of moves in order to kind of accumulate um, some some sort of strategy but anyway we're gonna be jumping into a game in this uh, game we're gonna be mixing and matching a bunch of parts to create mechs and also upgrading parts and I'm in a game here and I need to abandon this run because it was absolutely think they've won. We'll show them next a losing time. proposition um, make our meta control center. Uh, you are not what I want to look at. I want to look at a game. Here we go. We're going to be starting with a couple of very simple uh, mechs. We can edit them, but I'm just going to jump in. So, uh, we have our battlefield here. There's a couple of things to pay attention to. Um, we have a certain number of mechs we can spawn. Spawning mechs, um, costs energy there's these nodes on the field that we're going to want to control in order to get more energy these are meta points those are literally uh points for meta progression um which i haven't really gotten into so much um y'all know how i feel about meta progression which is not not good but um it's it's all i i think that this is this is fine i mean this is the kind of game that you're gonna probably want meta progression in um, so you can unlock new parts and stuff like that, but So um, we can click on these enemies and we can see how far they're gonna go. So I, I know I can move forward a little bit um, This guy's got uh, let's see a laser. Is it is it a laser? No, we've we've got ourselves a double double um, You know a Tim Hortons double double here and we've got some legs um, There is different kinds of terrain and different mo moving parts are going to be better for um, different kinds of terrain. I am going to try and spawn a vehicle um, because for a number of reasons, they take a turn to kind of wake up. Actually, can we can we spawn another one? Yeah, let's spawn another one. And we can, we can spawn them adjacent to other mechs. So I may as well spawn them next to this guy so they're as far forward as possible without being in danger. I'm going to end my turn here. So these kind of uh, kaiju trolls, um, they are like destroying the city and there's you know uh, they're the big bad threat um are gonna come up now uh what's our range here our range is actually really good so we can move this guy forward here um this little uh indicator tells me that they're in range to take an attack on the next turn so we're gonna go ahead and apparently we didn't have range um we had range with movement that's my bad so i'm gonna move him forward and we're gonna kill that guy he's no longer in threat so that's good we're gonna to wanna to make sure we have a mech on that energy so that we're gaining energy. Um, we could actually, what I might do is on the next turn, is ha move this guy over here and collect that meta energy and then um, make sure we're taking this control. The, the only objective right now is to defeat the swarm. So I'm not worried too much about um, anything else. So our dude here is in threat, we can see that. So we'll move this guy over here to collect this meta energy. Um, I think that does happen immediately. Then we'll move this guy back and we'll continue collecting energy. Um, Want to collect as much energy as possible. Your mechs, now that I've spawned these, are going to carry over from battle to battle. Um, but losing them is kind of a big blow and we don't necessarily want to do that if we don't have to. Um, we do have the range to kill this guy, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll end the turn. I want to acquire as much energy as possible. I think there's only one more collection left on this. Um, what I could do, does this guy have the range to move over here? I'm not sure, but um, what I will do instead is we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. 
Oh, that ended it. Uh, we can see there's six energy left on that. I wanted to collect as much energy from that as possible, so um, that was maybe not the best idea. Also, I mean, like, those mechs are only worth two each right now, so it might have been worth losing one of them if it, if it meant that we got to collect a bit more energy. So now that, now that we're between combats, we have a couple things available to us. So we can check out engineering. Engineering lets us, in a kind of gotcha sense, um, like roll on some new body parts. Um, this costs us a certain amount of credits. Uh, credits are earned by completing missions. And these are very random, like um, they really are just like a, a kind of a, a random uh, part with some benefits and also like depending on how good they are, they're going to have um, uh, extra costs associated with them. We can also upgrade um, our current parts. So like for instance, we, we have a couple of mechs that have these mini tracks. If I was to upgrade this with some, uh, some credits, then that would, um, that would actually increase the costs of our current mix. But it's sometimes it's worth the, worth doing this instead of rolling new parts because it's only it's going to be a very small cost to upgrade our current mix rather than buying new parts that we're going to have to um, then spawn new mix with. Like the, the costs are, are larger. For sure those new mix are going to be worth it. But if we want to just like do a, a, a kind of a small upgrade, then this can be worth it more. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I <laughs> explained that very well, but so we know we have these uh, mini tracks and upgrading that uh, increase the health of that part. If we were to upgrade this double double, then uh, we, you know, we could make it maybe we could make it triple triple. No, I, I think a double double just means that it attacks twice. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that as well. Then we'll go to our mechs over here. These guys, um, you can see actually since, oh, this, this guy has the double double. So, okay. Uh, I, I upgraded his weapon. So you can see these plus, uh, these up arrows mean that they, uh, I could spend some energy to upgrade them to basically retroactively fit the new upgrade, um, to the old mechs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of these. And actually what I'd like to do is also upgrade. No, I can't afford it. Okay. That's fine. I was going to upgrade the other weapon as well. So we're good there. Um, we have a choice to be to make here. I have talked a little bit before about and you know, how a lot of roguelites um, tend to have this very stock standard kind of like uh, road that uh, you know with with choices to make. I think that this is a good um, compromise. This game does have the whole like roguelite road, um, but it doesn't feel like I don't know. It doesn't feel exactly the same, and some of these choices are a little bit more interesting because you know well, for one thing we're going to be choosing a boss to fight on this one we're definitely also choosing rewards but um like there there are actual choices to make here and it doesn't just feel like okay left or right this this decision is going to give me like you know a reward but it's not really changing the course of the game very much you know so uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one this one's going to give me the most choice this one would uh you know put me on that path so We'll, we'll, we'll give ourselves the most uh, kind of agency for the future as, as we can. So we're going to be fighting the swarm. There's a lot of energy to collect on this um, on this one. Let's see. They probably have a lot of... Uh, yeah, they're going to have a lot of movement. And I'm actually a little bit concerned that we're not going to be able to collect as much, you know, very much energy. Because these guys are going to come... They're going to rush us down. And then we're going to be fighting them and we'll probably kill them pretty quickly. And then the mission will be over and we don't get to collect all that extra energy. So I'll move forward as quickly as I can. But um, I think the chances are pretty good that we're, we're not going to be able to collect much of that energy, which is a shame. So you can see, I mean, this is different terrain. Um, let me see, is this, are these tracks? Uh, usually it will tell you if there's like something different going on. This is a blocked tile, obviously. There's this rough tile, some mechs can't traverse. So um, I'm pretty sure that like the walking mech can traverse through this. Uh, that's the benefit of the legs. They do provide more health, but they also provide, oh, actually apparently these treads are doing really well for, for health, but I guess I did upgrade the treads. Um, but yeah, the legs tend to have a bit more movement going on um what could we do here i kind of i could like this guy okay we could spawn another one of these guys 
forward. And there's a, there's a chance that maybe I could collect this a, a little bit of extra energy before we end the match. So let's see if we can't do that. You definitely want to push your, you know, push things as much as possible. Um, because the long, the long game is, is as important as the short game. Let's see here. We can actually fire this guy because we'll, we'll have a bit of extra movement. Um, and actually this double double has a bit more range going on. Um, the thing I am a little bit concerned of is we're not going to be able to collect that meta energy until our next turn, but I guess this is worth doing because I don't want to take uh, too much extra damage. Uh, we'll try and get this. Oh, they're going to take some extra damage. How much damage do these guys do? Four to six. So he could actually potentially take this guy out, um, which is no good. Uh, so what I might do is put this guy forward just to give this guy an extra target. That might not be the case. It looks like they've decided to attack this one. Uh, so that's that's a shame. I think I'll have enough movement to get to this energy pod on the next turn. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if I lose this guy, it's not a big deal. It's just too energy to respawn him, but I'd rather not. And I do get that energy for that turn, so that's good. So we got lucky and it only did four damage. I'm actually gonna like let this guy die this guy how much damage does this do four damage okay so you know we we can do four damage we can also block this guy so then this guy takes the next the next attack maybe mm, apparently he is very attached to killing this mech so that's that's a shame but whatever we're collecting the energy and like i say it's only two energy to, to reclaim these guys whereas we get three energy per turn so i you know i'd rather i'd rather get the energy and lose the mech because then we're winning the long game. We're, we are getting quite a lot of energy right now, which is nice. So now this guy is going to be taking the, ne the next blow, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, because he has less health, and he's also got a really good gun. Can we... We could come up and, and kill this guy. Um, this guy ta does take six energy to respawn, so losing him is a bit more of a blow um and we but the thing is we wouldn't we wouldn't lose him for sure like these guys okay four to six we could potentially lose him there's a good chance we would lose him so i don't know um you know what well let's, let's just go ahead and i guess they get to, they do get to get that energy since i ended the turn on them i think uh, i may have like critically missed a step here uh, you might actually get the energy if you end the battle with them on that spot but who knows Recharge four at the end of a battle. So we also will get some like passive income on that. Gain five credits at the end of battle. So we get a little bit of extra credits. Um, might be good to just, I don't know, just to like cover the bases. I want to like show off uh, other parts of this game. Uh, we could develop a body, but you know, I, I know y'all are probably going to want to see what other weapons that this game has to offer. So we get a choice. So we could have a flamethrower attacks two tiles, inflicts three damage for two turns. But this adds five energy to the cost of a mech. Um, and then this gunner drone spawns gunner drone. So this actually spawns new things. Flies over tiles, can't move to next battle. So this spawns um, temporary drones that then do damage. But they... Okay, that's an interesting idea. They also get six health. I don't know if they themselves... Okay, spawn says eight energy but i don't know if spawning the drone actually has an energy cost associated i, I kind of want to check this out this is going to be a very expensive part to spawn um let's see can we edit these guys we could scrap them for one uh for one energy uh, it looks like they get fully healed at the end of combat which is nice these guys have nine health huh this guy could probably use an upgrade we could we could edit one of these guys maybe we could like add we could add this part that looks goofy as all heck but i kind of love it um okay so let's let's do that um but if we edit it it doesn't we don't it, like it doesn't change these guys and we can't even upgrade them we'd have to spawn a whole new mech i was kind of hoping i could like edit these guys to add that part but that's fine um in that case, if we're going to have to create a new mech, we may as well kind of go for it. Uh, these legs do offer more health at a slightly higher cost. 
but that extra health is going to gonna it's gonna make the difference it's only one extra cost one extra energy cost for like an added kind of three health there um and i kind of i think i think that's good enough we could try and get an extra body as well but i i, I want to do this so we'll go ahead and throw this guy on the left side here we can move these guys around i think something i do um i do wish about this game is they they uh, you know they've obviously worked very hard on these animations and uh, on the look of the game and and it shows and I appreciate that but I do wish some of the UI or you I guess the user experience was a bit more instantaneous. Um, I have noticed like for instance if you you can't undo certain turns, but um, undoing a turn isn't as as easy as just like clicking the button and it instantaneously kind of undoes it. Um, it's a it's a fairly a fairly lengthy animation and I just think that some of this could be a little bit snappier. I do wonder, um, sometimes this is the case, sometimes they have anim- Oh yeah, animation speed, so I'm just like straight up wrong about that. Never mind, my like one grievance is actually completely, um, uh, you know, addressed in this game, so never mind. <laughs> I love when that happens, you know, that's a, it's a nice surprise. Let's go ahead and uh, check out this next battle. Did I hit apply on that increased animation speed? I did. So I wonder if uh, I wonder if if the animation speeds will, will will actually be faster. Okay, so defeat the swarm. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and do this. These guys are tougher. Obviously, they do eight to ten damage. Um, two to three charges in a straight line knockback. So that's pretty tough. They also have twelve health. Yo, you guys can stop actually so these guys um we can we can create dr gunner drones so i wonder if i can create a gunner drone first of all do, so does that have a cost it doesn't seem to have a cost uh i didn't mean to do that let me undo that oh right i forgot movement you can undo but you can't undo action so now, now this guy is in the way however he gets to be spawned and then also um also he can move so that's kind of cool that's actually really cool he can do two times two damage so he could actually reach this guy um i love the idea of spawning these guys in and then like they can move like right away um you guys can stop making that noise whenever you want um thinking i thinking i just want to move him over here for safety sake so uh, we're all good now. I'll move these guys forward. I do wonder if there's a button actually. I'm gonna see, change controls. Let's just see here. Um, pan, there's a lot of panning. Select mech. Wouldn't, what a, something I wouldn't mind um, seeing. And I'm not sure if there is a way of seeing this. No, it looks like no. Okay, I would like to see a quick button, like just the button I, I can hold down uh, that'll let me see uh, enemy a range, like movement range and attack range. Um, so it would be really nice to see something like that because uh, that would help me like very instantly make, you know, kind of plan out my moves. So we're gonna move these guys forward. Uh, is this guy in range? No, he's not. So he's fine to move forward and we're good for now. So these guys move forward in a very straight line. Um, can, do we have a, We don't have the range to unfortunately hit these guys, so that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna move this guy over here to try and get this meta energy. Um, we're definitely gonna wanna shuffle things around a little bit. Uh, all right, we'll move this guy forward over here so he's out of range of this guy. I might just like start smacking smacking some dudes let's see if we, we okay so we can move there and attack and do a little bit of damage and we'll also collect a little bit of energy so that's that and it also blocks him so i can move this guy forward this guy okay so we can't this this has got a cooldown of two turns so that is good to know so we'll move him over here so that he's out of range we don't mind if this drone um takes a hit it is a hundred percent going to die there's no question about that. We have to be cool about that. Uh, more enemies are being spawned in, so that's um, worth noting. So this is a collection of two trolls. 
Uh, we do three to six damage times two, so we might actually take this guy out. Yeah. Um, okay, so we didn't take him out. That's fine. What I wouldn't mind doing is, um, well, I guess we can, we can kill this lad. Let's kill the lad. I was hoping I could, like, attack and then move. Some mechs can do that, like this guy, for instance. That's, an, I think, another benefit of the legs. So I'll try and get that mana energy. This guy is going to be moving forward. Um, who is this guy being attacked by? I guess this guy. So it looks like there's a like a little tiny pocket here. So this cooldown, this cooldown on that weapon is kind of a problem. I don't know how I feel about that in the long term. Uh, eight to ten damage. There's a very very small chance that this mech could potentially survive. Um, but what I'm curious about is if we could potentially kill this guy right now. Nope. That's all right. You know what? We're just gonna ooh. Okay, so we should be able to undo that. We can. So there's that animation I was talking about. And I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. So how come when I move over here, we're still in range? That doesn't seem right. It, it might be that when this guy's attacking this guy and it's shoving him into them. I, I don't know. That, that could be po possible. Wow, they're taking damage there as well. What are they getting hit by exactly? I... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Just everywhere. I, I, I would like to get a bit more information on that. I guess they were actually fine where they were. So we'll keep them there, but um, that's that's strange. Okay, so that guy got absolutely stomped. Um, this guy, his he's got a few turns before he gets over there. So we're just going to go ahead and... What I'd like to do is move here... If I move, if I was to move here, would he attack him? No, he'd have to move back. Okay, so let's. You know what? Um, this guy should be able to shoot him from where he is. So let's go ahead and do that, and then move over here. This lad is finally going to be able to spawn his second drone. He should be able to do some damage to him. So what I'm hoping here is that I can spawn this and it'll block him from taking that extra damage. That looks to be the case. So then we can do some extra damage. And I don't mind about these guys getting hit. That's totally fine. Um, I look, it looks like this guy has some extra movement. But he can actually move and like move again. He's, he's very mobile. Um, we could potentially spawn in another bot. I can also make a bot on the fly here. That's that is also a possibility. So we could like throw some parts together here. Um kind of like this double double. We're at spawn three. If I had this spawn seven, that's not too bad. Let's do that actually. So we'll spawn another dude. Um let me just see. Okay, we if I spawned him there, that wouldn't be a big deal. We should be able to kill this guy on the next turn. I just want to have something ready for the next turn. Since we lost the mech, good to, you know, keep your ducks in a row a little bit. So this guy does a lot of damage. Um, he does 8 damage, and he also has 16 health. So what we want to do is uh, we can move forward and shoot him once. And then we should be able to move out of the way. Uh, actually, no. And now that I've done that, I am kind of stuck with this decision. So we need to try and do as much damage to this guy as possible. It looks to me like I have uh, the potential to kill him here. Yes, I think I got I got very lucky there. Uh, this guy is still in danger though because of our rhino rhinotaur. So moving him like that basically puts other things on the menu. So what I want to do is first of all we're gonna move this guy forward because that seems to be like there's unusual things going on here. I think I think what's going on here is it's showing me the movement path, but not necessarily like the, the attack range at all. Like if I move this out of the way, okay. So yeah, actually we're we're good. Um, if I was to attack him, it would kill him. But then I think we don't get that energy right now. No one's in threat, so I'd rather just like end the turn and get that extra energy. Yeah, I know action available. I'd rather get that energy. 
Now, I wonder if I had defeated everything on that turn, would it have spawned these guys or did it spawn these guys as a punishment for not ending, for not, for not killing everything? I wonder. Interesting. Okay, so we're at four damage here. We should be able to kill this guy. That's good. This guy is still on cooldown, so he can't spawn another drone yet. I think maybe there were still a bunch of stuff over here. I just didn't see it yet. I don't know. Uh, we've got a tyrant. We definitely want to move things forward. Yeah, I should be able to move things forward without taking any damage. We'll, we'll go ahead and collect some more energy. Uh, honestly, I think at this point we might consider spawning something else. Max uses the reach, so we, we can't spawn any more um, of those. We could spawn another one of these lads, though. I don't know if that's worth it, so I'm just going to end the turn for now. These guys are going to move forward. Oh, there's, there's a lot of lads right now, and I'm a little bit concerned. This guy is got six health. We should be able to kill them in one turn. This guy... Okay, if we were to move there, this guy can reach them, and then they can do eight damage. I think what I'd rather do is move this guy forward like this, and then kill him. But now he's definitely in range of that guy, so that was potentially a mistake. Um, yeah, I don't know if I should have done that. That was maybe a big time mistake. What is this transform? Okay, so I can like change their parts on the fly. That might actually be worth it. Um, I wouldn't mind giving them something else. They got a double double actually. That's the, you know, oh, I see. So you, you, only, you can only have a certain number of parts on the field, not... Not the mechs themselves. The mech is fine. It's the parts that are limited. That's interesting. I didn't uh, I didn't realize that. So this guy is, he's, he's just not very helpful right now. So we're gonna, oh, if we do that, then he's the one on the chopping block. He, this mech can actually take a blow from this dude. So I'm not, yeah, it seems like no matter where I move, I can move him there and he's no longer a target for the wrecker. Um, so that's good. We're going to move this guy forward. We're going to move this guy forward and then we're going to spawn a mech, a, a thing over here. I'm wondering if I spawned a mech here. Yeah, he can't reach anything. I should have spawned him on the other side. You can't undo actions. I kind of wish you could, or at least um maybe we could do the... Uh, the, the into the breach thing where um, you can only do it once per turn kind of thing. All right, so the only thing taking damage is this guy here. Um, that's not necessarily good, but it's, you know. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, that was, that was awful. Okay, so we're gonna wanna try and take this guy out. I don't think I can on this turn, but I'm going to try. Um, he'll have... From 12 health, he'll potentially have 0 to 6 health, is what I'm seeing there. So yeah, I, I could have gotten very lucky, but it was, uh, it was very much a long shot. So there's no way I can reach that those trolls over there. Um, they can do three times four damage, so there's a, a lot of room there for, uh, potential death. This drone here is for sure dead. What we could do is spawn, now that that guy died, um, I could spawn another one of these lads. Let's spawn him over here so we know that he's safe from destruction. The only thing taking damage right now is that gunner drone, which is absolutely fine. We're totally fine with that. Um, we can move this guy forward. We can't really reach anything here, so that's fine. Okay, so now everything is on the chopping block right now, which is definitely not great. Um, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna kill this guy. Then we're gonna move to where... Actually, I'll move him forward. I'd like to maybe try and get to this energy over here. These trolls are, are a little bit of a problem, but, uh... 
we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Moves further on roads, can use rough tiles. Um, this guy can do five damage. I would like to be out of range of this guy. So we'll move he him there and then we'll do some damage here. Um, I should be able to reach, he can shoot diagonally. So if I move over here, I should be able to kill, uh, do some damage here. We, we managed to kill it. That's great. Um, this guy is still taking a damage. So what we'd like to do is, um, move this guy forward. Oh, he does. He's not on cool. He's not off cooldown. So he can't spawn a thing yet. Shucks. Okay. Well, we'll just like move him like an extra thing forward then. Um, could we transform this guy? We could, we could give him a double, 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 doubles pretty good. Uh, that doesn't really do anything for his health, so I'm not sure why I would do it. So, never mind. Maybe it'd be worth doing it on the next turn. Okay, so he took some damage. Um, this guy should be able to uh, spawn a drone now, so we will. And he's going to do four damage. And then we will take this guy out. Um, it's all good there. Now, I would I would really like to get to that energy. Um, hmm. This guy's movement is just barely enough. Okay, okay, we can we can move him forward and do one damage, and then we can move him back. That's actually ideal, and we'll move this guy around here to try and get that energy. So uh, we can't get the energy, unfortunately. But that's fine. We can do some damage to this lad and kill that. We don't get the max auto recharge battery at the end of a battle if they occupy. Okay, so yeah, I need to end the battle while occupying that. So if I'd taken a bit of extra time there and like, you know, manipulated the board a bit, I would have ended with a bit more energy. Um, shucks, you know, that's 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 uh, my loss for sure. Uh, there's a part over here, heavy three. It has two weapon slots, so you can actually do two weapon, uh, two attacks per turn, but its spawn increase 27. Just good lord. Um, even if I was to acquire this extra energy here, I would not be able to afford that. Um, this mini missile is uh, intriguing. We could go over there and grab that and a bit of extra energy and computing parts. I feel like it'd be better to grab some meta energy, whatever. Yeah, meta energy. We'll grab that and then we can make a mech that uses that. So we'll make another mech here. Um, we can't do mini tracks. I wouldn't mind doing upgrading mini tracks. We have some computing parts. But honestly, you know what would be better is if we could develop another transport. So this has very little health, but it's fast. Moves further on roads, can't use rough tiles. Cannot use rough tiles. Uh, and then there's the spider with six health. Moves diagonally. Interesting. Yeah, let's uh, check out the spider. That looks fun. And then let's do, uh, let's develop a body. This has some nice health. This has better health, but it costs more, obviously. Adjacent mechs get extra armor. Oh, this is nice. Bodyguard. So now what I would like to do is I would like to um, create a new mech that has the spider, this bodyguard, and the mini missiles. And in fact, we could do two mini missiles. Look at that. That's a nice chonky little little friend there. Um, they they look they look really spiffy actually. And they're only 14 energy. I know that's a lot, but um, f this is going to be our, our our big lad here. Like they're um, going to be supporting everyone. They've got some good movement. They've got some good attack. They're they are like general. Um, I don't know how I feel about this mech anymore. To be honest, the extra drones are nice, but I think what I'd rather I guess, I guess it, this is the equivalent of having more mechs on the field. I wouldn't mind taking, like, maybe scrapping this guy for one energy and then replacing him with something else. Because, uh, you know, I, I would like to 
Yeah, let's let's make something else real quick. We're gonna do another mini tracks. I like the mini tracks 2.0, obviously. Um, maybe having another bodyguard. Oh, we don't have enough energy for that. Okay, good to know. Um, so we'll just do a normal body, and we'll do. We could do just more mini missiles. Yeah, we can afford that. Um, we can afford that. This is only six damage, whereas this is three times a three to six times two. So I think that it's actually better in some regards. It could be more damage. It could also be less damage. Like that's that's the trade off there. Um, what's the range on this? Range is two. This is range two. It's the same. Oh, the mini missile also reduces cost. Eh. Okay, actually, you know what? If we did the mini missile, we could have two more of these lads. Except we can only have one more. We can only have one more because of the legs. Um, this would add four. Uh, I think we could just barely do it. Too many mechs. We just have too many mechs. All right, so five mechs it is. Um, maybe it would be worth upgrading something. Like we could upgrade this body and that'll increase the health of basically everyone because I only ha like everyone is kind of using the same body. So we could spend a little bit of extra energy and give everyone a bit more health. Because we're, we're in the home stretch here. Like we're, we're in the end of this first phase. Um, we have three more energy. So we could still upgrade something else. Like these mini tracks, for instance. So now we should be able to upgrade. Yeah, one, two, three. And everyone's got a bit more health. The only thing, only one that's lacking now is this guy. He, uh, he's, he's lacking a little bit, slacking. All right, so now we're, we're about to take on a, a big lad, defeat the swarm. Now, make no mistake, I'm very sure that there's going to be like, you know, uh, two more levels that look like this, but I'm probably only going to do this first level um, just to kind of cover the basics of, of what this, you know, what kind of game we're working with here. Defeat the swarm, boss battle. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be taking a bunch of whatever that is. This guy resists debuffs, attacks two tiles in a lane. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this guy forward. We're gonna move these guys around a little bit. Shuffle them around a bit. This guy's gonna move in the middle here. He's going to be providing everyone with a bit of defense. Uh, we'll spawn our bot. You wanna spawn the bot as soon as possible. I would love to grab that energy, obviously, but um, they're gonna be in line of attack. So never mind. So this is this is good for now. So now we're in uh, we're in potential threat zone over here. Also, this guy, why is there an earthquake happening like that? He, he's attacking like that. I'm not sure what's up there. Um, all right, so we can we can hit this guy. Can he? I wonder if this thing can can't move to next battle. I wonder if he can attack and then move. Probably not. That's generally not how it works. Yeah, he can't move now. So let's move this guy over here. He doesn't seem to be in range anymore. This is good. We don't really want to take a huge hit like right away. Um, we can do a bunch of damage to this guy. But let's move forward just to see if we're going to be in threat. We seem to only be in threat from this wrecker. So that's that's the good news. Um, so we'll move forward. I'm a little bit concerned. This guy's going to be taking a hit. And we don't know how much damage this does. Five damage. Okay. So he just moved to the left and then attacked in the lane. So that's, that's how that works. Um... So we have already taken a pretty nasty hit. I would like to kill this lad. This guy, he can pretty much attack whatever he wants. I don't even know if there's much point in like trying to mitigate that at all. He's going to be doing five damage, so he's not going to kill anything just yet. Um, so what we would like to do, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is move this guy over here 
and try and kill this lad. We need we want to kill this guy. Yeah, and there we go. That's that was good. Um, we also want to try and kill this lad, but uh, do we have what it takes to do that? We can move over here, grab this meta point. Um, but that is all their movement, so we're gonna go ahead and undo that. Let's try and kill this guy. Nice. So now what that does is that it's gonna make uh, this appealing, this this lane. Um, so I want to move over here and we're gonna we're gonna defend them a little bit also that uh that's stopped them from taking damage the only one that's taking damage now is this guy which is good that's that's actually fine um now if i was to move this guy over here is he's not in danger that's the good news all right i would like, like to get that energy um for sure I'll, I'll see if i can't make it happen so now what i'd like to do um we have our drone again we're gonna go ahead and make a drone uh, we can actually start hitting the boss now. I'd like to move him... We'll move him over here. And hit him. Um, right now, this is the only thing that's taking damage, and that is totally fine. If I move him here... I should really not do that, because that prevents me from, like, doing another action. So we're just gonna hit them. Uh, they... This is the only thing taking a hit now which is good i move him here though okay we're still good um you know okay i move him here what's what's gonna happen we're still okay uh th one thing i'm a little bit concerned about is i'd like to get that energy that's 12 energy just like sitting on the field um, I think I should be able to kill him with all of the units left over here. Ah, but he can't reach that. I should have moved this guy over to the energy instead of... Oh, it's, it's too late now. I don't know. I don't know. This guy has only got two movements, so he's not going to be able to reach that. So the only way to really get that energy or guarantee that I get the energy is if I move this guy here. So I'll do... I'll move him here and guarantee, give him a bit of extra agency. Um, for the next turn like I have options and we'll see if I can't take this guy out on this turn so the first things first is we're gonna I'll move this drone over see if I can't okay so I my my boom by moving that drone over I, I put these guys on the table so that we don't want to do that so instead I'll just hit them like that I move him here okay so yeah I mean this guy won't die so that's not a big deal um it really sucks that my like hardest hitting mech is the one that's going to be like just collecting resources but i think i should be fine to kill this guy now yeah i definitely am there we go let's get cracking uh meta auto charge so I only got three energy. I thought that maybe I would collect all of the energy on that. So that was not the case. You want to be, you want to, that kind of answers that question for me is you, you want to be occupying those chargers as much as possible. Um, the game is not going to give it to you um, for free. You know, mechs gain two shield if they didn't move the previous turn. That's an interesting idea. Plus one energy recharge in energy pods for free. Uh in pods i don't know i guess i would want the static defense because that sounds really good so yeah we've got a new um a whole new arena with a whole bunch of new uh combats so um you know what's the verdict on this game i i really like it actually i, I like i think that people are gonna get uh you know no offense to the the you know people making this game but i think i think people are gonna get the wrong idea based on the look I, I like the look, but I definitely think that the look is a little bit generic. Um, so I, I think that it's going to be a little bit off-putting for some people, but I do really uh, like the customization in this game. I like the options and the, uh, the kind of player agency of like, you know, mixing and matching parts. And the, the game gives you quite a lot of freedom to like, even on the fly, kind of mix around your mechs and, and swap in parts, swap out parts. And uh, I think it's well balanced um, in terms of like, you know, how it uh, gives you, uh, how it charges you or uh, gives you a cost for, 
for things like that. And I think that there is enough variation between parts that uh, you would you know, kind of like incentivizes using one part over another. Um, and not just like weapons, but also like, you know, body, um, the fact that certain bodies give, um, you know, perks for, for extra defense to your, your allies. There's a, there's actually very strong tactics in this game. And I think it does make for very compelling gameplay, very compelling battles. Um, so I, I like this game actually a lot. Um, I, I could definitely see myself playing more of this for sure. Um, but yeah, what do you think, uh, Mech Armada? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.